so who else is highly suspicious or has been highly suspicious Obama is still somehow in a great deal of control. He's in some sort of wild position to where he can have Hawaii exempt him from certain natural laws or laws to protect the natural order in Hawaii per se. Um, to have a $22 million mansion built on the beachfront and then his wife comes out at the DNC and makes claims of generational wealth. So that sounds like the Soviet Union, if you ask me. We're in for a world of hurt either way we go. If President Trump does get back into office, you know, he has so many uphill battles it's just ridiculous. Google got sued and lost two and a half weeks ago. Seven point one billion for ad suppression for uh, uh, pertaining to the Republican Party and everything in 2020, and they're still doing it. You look up abortion bans, and it'll show you a map of all the states that are banned abortion, and they're all colored in red. When in fact, no state has banned abortion. There is a eight week or 12 week deadline. After eight weeks, the heartbeat bill, 12 weeks heartbeat bill, which makes sense. Wisconsin and another state have completely cut out abortion, but it's being fought, you know, they're just not practicing it. I mean, if you're gonna be irresponsible, then live with those consequences. People feel the need to say they have baby fever but that's as far as it goes and then you know there's a lot of mothers that are unfortunate things happen uh, that i won't speak of nobody ever wishes those things on people so in extreme circumstances i completely understand but from another logical standpoint wouldn't you take the time to consider this could be a miracle from god a child could change the world. But like I said, in extreme cir circumstances, you never know. But, um, I don't know. Everybody's hyped for the Bears. Caleb Williams will show his true woke colors by week five, and Bajan will come in there and dominate. But, uh, it, it's going to be all defense, just like last year when the defense kind of broke out second half of the season. I do like Wheeler. He's a tank. But I, I don't have any faith in Williams. And, you know, um, uh, Keenan Allen's going to cry. Woke Williams is going to cry. The dresses will come out of the locker room week five. And uh, money wasted yet again. Uh, and I'm not wrong. Cause lifelong Bears fan, born and raised here in Chicago. <laughs> I stopped giving a fuck about football um, oh, quite a while ago. Right before the true sabotage of Mitch Trubisky began, uh, John Fox was still the quarterback. Fuck that guy. But anyway, Chicago's got a shitload of problems, and democratic policies is the number one problem. Woke Mayor Johnson is a fucking tool and needs to be eliminated from his position. I'm not saying go kill him. Fuck that. Uh, I, no matter how bad somebody is, you don't want to kill him unless they're a fucking child predator. Then yes, that is public execution. And I'll say that here. If I ever catch somebody in the act, I'll kill them. I'll kill them. I don't give a fuck. They die. Because if you pray on innocence like that, well, I'm a soldier of God, baby. Michael the Archangel, right? I'll cast out that evil real quick. Oh, man. Just ranting, ranting, you know, what are you going to do?
but you know hopefully people understand what's at stake here um we're not a democracy we're a constitutional republic and if you want to remain in a society where that constitution is functional then you need to think of the country you live in what is happening and what is going to continue to happen if the current administration uh is able to somehow stay in office for another four years it's going to be twice as radical i mean the second um vp harris announced price gouging as one of her policies even the mainstream media was like what that sounds a little crazy stalin-esque and this is the party that uh calls president trump hitler and all this crazy shit They just don't like President Trump because he can't be bought and he doesn't need Soros and company for anything. You know, from one city boy to another. If you don't like what we gotta say, get the fuck out of here. Plain and simple, you know? The Second Amendment is there to protect us from a tyrannical government and that is what's unfolding. They want to take our guns away with the buyback program. You can get fucked with all that. And then the First Amendment is to protect us from the people who get offended. I can't help if you get offended. I can choose to say whatever I please. If somebody gets offended, that is out of my control. Everybody has the ability to control their emotions. Everybody has the ability to get up every day and make something for themselves. So this self-victimizing shit doesn't really apply to those who have a fucking backbone. So if you want to make a name for yourself, if you want to portray your value to society so people look at you as an outstanding, valuable human being, then take a look in the mirror and ask why your life sucks and then make a change. Don't blame your parents. Don't blame the past. Don't blame the government. Nobody is making you do anything. Nobody is stopping you from doing anything. So, with that being said, I gotta take my ass to the dentist, get everything, well, continue to get everything worked on. <clears throat> and uh, yeah we'll see what the conclusion is of day three and day of this uh, DNC all these assholes burning flags the American flag per se I don't give a fuck about Israel or Palestine okay as a natural born American citizen the only flag and the only country that I directly care about that directly affects me is America, right? That's my nationality, I'm an American. My ethnicity is Indian and Greece, or Greek, sorry. My mother's from Greece. So, when I see that shit, it's uh, infuriating. And those people should be charged with the highest form of treason. And just like the pedophiles, public execution. Because I guarantee you go into another country and you burn that country's flag, you're dead. Go try that shit in Russia or China or North Korea. You're fucking dead. Plain and simple. So Republicans need to stand up and, and uh, you know, as I said a little earlier, the backbone. We talk a big game and we don't do anything. Well, November 5th and come the early voting, we need to do something. There's no hurt in trying. Everybody does the same old thing because they're comfortable. And then when it doesn't work, they bitch and complain. Well, you have the choice if it's time for a change it's time for a change that change is the ticket that reads Trump Vance 2024 so good luck Chicago good luck America we have a country to save <laughs>